Yo, it's me, it's me, it's the SCOTT. I know this video is a little late today, but I haven't done a video today, you know, so. I, my thing is I want to do at least one video per day, and so. I kind of took a lazy, I took, not a lazy day, because I've been rearranging things, but it, it's not really an off day either, because I think I'm going to put in the possession of Hannah Grace after I'm done with this video, but. This video has a combination of things. I'm gonna talk about uh, my next uh, franchise I'm gonna be reviewing. I'm gonna be talking about a little bit of the Flash season finale. Uh, and there's some news coming out about Scream 5 or the next Scream movie, whatever they're gonna call, you know, that I wanna talk about. Plus, we have a taste test of Dr. Pepper Cream Soda. So we'll start off with that. Day. Mm -hmm. mm. Interesting. Yep, I said the cream soda. Well, first things first. The Flash aired its season finale tonight. I say season finale because it's actually episode 19. But because of the pandemic, um, they had to shut down production. And so, while they had enough uh, to put together in episode 20, they felt that the, uh, the, the cliffhanger at the end of this episode was good enough to be a season finale. And, well, sort of. But there is a little bit... You know, like, it doesn't feel like a proper finale. So now, the whole thing is that, I don't know, it's been a while since my last one. I'll just kind of reveal stuff. So, spoiler warning for those of you who have watched Flash from since I last reviewed it till now. If you, I don't remember when it was. I don't review them every week, but I forget it's the season finale, whatever. Uh, so, um... <sighs> Iris is still stuck in the mirror world, or mirror first, whatever, with Camilla and the real David Singh, Chief Singh, whatever. And so in the real world, the mirror Iris and the mirror Camilla are gone. They're dead. They showed blood work for one more episode, which was cool to see him. He was the villain at the beginning of the season. And Ava got out. So that leads to this episode where Ava is now trying to get to her husband, Joseph Carver, because apparently he didn't... It's all because he didn't try to get her out of there. And the mirror instead took over the company, weaponized the technology, stuff like that. So we pick up with that. Meanwhile, Barry... Barry, the Flash, he doesn't have his speed. His speed is, is failing because he... Uh, something that happened during Crisis when he... When Spectre... Spe Spectre touched him and gave him, you know, unlock stuff. It also took away the speed force. It messed up the speed force and now it's dead. Which... I know that the Spectre, Spectre warned him, but I feel it's kind of bullshit. It, I feel like well, it's Oliver. So I feel like if Oliver knew it was going to do this to Barry, he wouldn't have allowed it to happen. He would have said there's got to be another. He would have, no. It just doesn't make any sense, but we'll keep going. So, this episode was all right. Uh, you had Barry having to protect Carver from his wife. And you had just a, a bunch of things going on in this episode, really. Um, Mirror, or no, Iris was stuck in the Mirrorverse with Camilla, and they have to, uh, they're trying to find Sing. And she keeps seeing this map when she tries to look at the screens and stuff, because she's connected to the Mirror, I guess. And we'll get to that a little later, because that's part of the cliffhanger. But <clears throat> we have... So, uh, what what I don't like is the fact that they've kind of 
So it was revealed that Allegra is actually Nashwell's partner, like uh, from his Earth, from another Earth. He had a partner that was Allegra's doppelganger, and because of him, she died. He was, she was like a daughter to him, and he didn't tell. Now I'm not sure how old Allegra was supposed to be, but I'm assuming she's an adult. But she's throwing a fucking fit because oh, you didn't tell me, why didn't you tell me? It's just like, and she's showed so much disdain for him in the last couple of episodes. Last week's episode, they did a thing, they did a part of the episode where she was just like meh, 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 towards him, and I, I didn't think it was needed. And they did it again in this episode, but that actually went somewhere. And in the end of the episode, like he helped her out, and she was a little more forthcoming with you know talking to him and stuff. Um. There's a thing with uh, Ralph and Sue Dearborn, which, yeah, um, so he calls her parents for something, and she shows up with them, and apparently, supposedly, Carver dropped the, the, the bribery, or whatever it was, that he had on them, but then it turns out not, she's actually working for him, because she was going to kill him, but it doesn't go that way. Um, so, there's an interesting part, um, so, I, I, see, I don't understand this, so, Barry says he and Team Flash are going to protect Carver, so they go to the cops, where it's very well known that they're, that Chief Singh is a mere doppelganger, Why? That's what confused me. Is they show him at the police department, like, what? Well, wait, what, why are you there? And then Singh shows up and oh, we'll have you transferred. I'm like, why are you relying on the police? That I understand that police are the best place to go to, but not when the chief is a mere doppelganger working for the little lady who wants to kill her husband. Now there's a scene where uh, Eva sort of kidnaps the. Sun themed, the light themed villainesses that Carver has on. I think their names are Dr. Light, Sunshine, and Ultraviolet. Um, and she kidnaps them. And then when they initially show up in the building, I thought, oh, so they're mirror versions. But no, they're the actual versions, which all of a sudden they don't want to work for Carver anymore. I I don't know. Could make sense. Maybe they, maybe, maybe he mistreated them, or maybe he just was blackmailing them too. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Um. Uh, there's a scene where David Singh or the Mirror Singh, he burns a warehouse. They make a big deal about how there's subterranean levels, but all they go there for is to check it out and then. It's burned by Mirror Singh, and that's it. Why well, make such a big deal about the subterranean levels? Then I don't know. Uh, Cisco wasn't in this episode because he went to Atlantis. Kind of wish we could have seen that because when he said, "I gotta go to Atlantis," I'm like, "Oh, are we gonna see Atlantis?" Of course not. They don't have the rights to use Atlantis. You can just say it. Can't see Aquaman on TV. No, thank you. Um, but uh, there's a lot of with Caitlyn in this episode, which. It's almost like she was in the episode too much, I think. Um, because they say that they need to take her somewhere. And her mom's going to come and pick her up. So she has a talk with Ralph or Nash. Someone. There. And then the mom shows up. Maybe it was Ralph. I don't know. As Killer Frost. And then... I'm like, okay, so that's probably the last we see of her. And then at the end of the episode, she pops up again talking to Barry. And I'm like, wait, she's not gone yet? It's just say how, how important this is for her to do this. And she just been sitting in her apartment the entire episode. They needed her for that last scene, I guess. And then she's going, and they're going to try to figure out what's wrong with her. What's wrong with her? Why she's like, oh, I didn't know. She's like really, really cold. I guess. And this, this, this is because 
Daniel Panabaker, the actress who plays her, is actually pregnant, and they needed a way to get her out for the uh, to go have the baby. And then the pandemic happened, so there's your way out. But this episode was supposed to ride her out, I think. So we get a pretty awesome fight inside McCulloch Technologies, and was I the only one disappointed by this? Where they said that um, they have to find because here's the thing. Like I said, they get they go into the, the police department, and Mir Singh offers Barry a deal. He will give her Iris. Eva will give Iris back if he gives her her husband. Okay. But before he can answer, Nash uses his magic ball thingy and teleports him back to Star Labs. And then they say there's a secret way into McCulloch Technologies, which he has, like, super protection. He has, like, a, a force field around the place. He has a secret room that Eva doesn't know about, which is bullshit, because she has that same secret room in the mirror. So whatever you build in your world is going to show up in the mirror world. And she's going to know about it. I'm sorry. But I found it... It's like, oh, she doesn't know about it. And then they show him go in there and he pushes the exact same button she pushed to get into her little area. I'm like, she knows about it, dude. And, and yeah. But when they said they had to go through the sewers, I was like, well, why didn't we see him go through the sewers? They're just at the building. And then they're rushing all the people out that were the security guards. And then they like the building up. And then immediately powers down and first see sue shows up working for say she's working for cover she's gonna kill him she knocks out ralph and then goes up the elevator and then shortly after this the power goes out so i thought sue did something but it turns out no it was in fact the three light themed villains who show up and there's a killer fight scene first they're fighting and they have like dividers in the screen like it's a comic book panel that was actually kind of cool but they fight the security guards and then they fight the rest of team flash sue shows up to help fight him off and they're cornered it's sue allegra ralph and nash and then nash gives that little diamond thing that sue had before and gives it to uh allegra allegra uses it on ultraviolet which is her cousin and it shows her i guess the worst moment of her life or something i don't know and that takes her down. And then Eva sneaks up. I thought this was kind of cool, actually. Uh, Barry goes out to the hallway after the lights go out. And he sees Mira Singh. And the Mira Singh starts to split into pieces. And it's Eva. She blasts him with some ray and knocks him down. And she goes to kill her husband. And he sh Flash shows up and stops her when the shards go all over him. And... You know, there was an episode that was very devastating with the shards a couple weeks ago, but um, she didn't. The, I thought this was kind of cool and gnarly. She pushes one of the the shards through the Flash's shoulder into Carver's heart, and I I was interested in this. He, Carver says before he dies, "You are not my wife. You're something else." My wife never would have done this. So it's interesting to think. Now, I people have been... See, I've been complaining that stuff is happening to Iris. Like, this, there's stuff that has happened to her, to Eva. She's itching her arm and stuff and acting weird. But it's happened to Iris very, very quickly. Like, quicker than it's happening to Eva. And... um. I've mentioned this on Facebook and stuff to people in the in the Flash group, and they said, "Oh, she's a many human, so it takes longer." But because the way they show it is that Eva's been stuck in that mirror since the particle accelerator happened six years ago. The particle accelerator accident happened in the, in the pilot of the Flash six years ago. So she's been stuck in there for six years. Oh, Five and a half. So why isn't it affecting her more? I get she's a million human. But still, maybe it has and we just 
don't know. Maybe maybe Carver's right. Maybe that's not Eva anymore. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's a it's a mirror distortion thingy. Who knows? Um, although we do get some explanation because the one question was how is Barry going to find out what's going on with Iris? And Carver explains it, and then he doesn't believe him, but then Nash explains that he went to one of the Earths when he was exploring that had a similar effect. So, yeah. So Carver's dead, Eva's back in charge, and she cooks up this story that her husband, or no, that she had been kidnapped for six years, and her husband found her, but died, but was murdered before, you know, after she was freed and stuff. And so, yeah. Uh, then we get some endings to it. You know, she has a bodyguard there. The endings to it. Um, uh, so, Ralph goes to visit Sue. And she's packing her stuff up. And he's, she's saying, well, now I can go home. And Ralph's like, no, you can't. Eva's framed you for her husband's murder. So that happened. I was like, oh, are you serious to doing this? All right. Who knows when we're going to, you know. And I'm like, tell me that's not the cliffhanger. There's a, then there's the scene between Flash or Barry and um, Caitlin where they're talking and she's taken away with her mother. <clears throat> then the, the logo comes up and we get the cliffhanger. So, Iris has been staring at the screen, trying to get the map pop up so she can find the heat reading to find Sing. And I was sure the cliffhanger was going to be, they go there, and it's not Sing, but who was intended to be the villain of the season. Like, there was someone else trapped there with her. Maybe another blood work because they use his blood to go through there. Even though it's been pointed out that there's still blood in the vial that they used. And that could be how he's free, but who knows. But that's not the cliffhanger. No, no. After Iris finds it, she turns into a mirror image and just <laughs> disappears. And that's how it ends. I'm like, okay, you got me. That's a cliffhanger. So... Seeing as they had a, said they had enough for next episode, I wonder if they'll incorporate that into the next season whenever that happens. But I'm interested to see where it's going to go because, yeah, okay, that, I guess that was kind of a decent enough cliffhanger to end up on. But I will say, because of the lack of wrap up with certain characters, and there was, and sometimes there's cliffhangers, but I felt like this was more like an episode. That starts the way to the finale, not the finale itself. Like, uh, Sue is framed, or how, you know, Eva's now out and she's killed her husband, so she's free to do what she wants. Uh, Sue has been framed. Iris has disappeared in the mirror world, and now it's up to Camilla to find, to find Singh. Which could could have been the next episode, you know, because she knows where he is. She said the, the Central City Memorial Hospital, whatever it's called. So she can go there and find Mira Singh or whatever it is. I still think it would have been cool to, to see another villain, but I don't, I don't know. And the Flash still doesn't have his speed. Um, Caitlyn's gone. See, there's, well, I don't know what Cisco has found out in, 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 in still in Atlantis. Hasn't found any information. So there's still a lot to wrap up. So overall, it did not feel like an actual season finale. Even though there was a cliffhanger, it still didn't feel like a season finale to me. But... Looking at it as just an episode, decent episode. I thought it was pretty good. Okay, so that's the Flash, and that took a while to do. But under some Scream movie news, they've announced that Blumhouse is working on a Scream Five or a new Scream film, Scream Five, whatever, and that Nev Campbell and the original cast are in talks to return, and Matthew Lillard, you know, Mister, you hit me with the phone, Dick says he would love to come back and people have said oh but he's dead if you don't know though he was intended to be part of Scream 3 see the original idea for Scream 3 before they gave us whatever the hell that was 
was that, I think I mentioned this in my review, but I'll say it here. The original idea was that Stu was going to be orchestrating murders in a high school from his prison cell, and he was going to be revealed to be the killer at the end. But then Columbine happened, so they couldn't do uh, murders in a high school, so they... Because if you pay attention to, you know, Scream 3, you know, cause Scream 3 and now on a movie set, there's no teenagers, so, you know. But if they had gone back to the high school thing, I think it would have brought the franchise full circle. Because it started at high school, went to college, and then back to high school, things were going to come full circle. Back to Woodsboro High, finish where you started, you know. Um, we sort of got that with four, but if we're getting five, and there is a way to bring Stu back, because... They never specifically, they say Billy's dead. Because it says in the, in the second one, she says, there's one thing you forgot about Billy Loomis. I fucking killed him. And that's the fourth one, isn't it? I fucking killed him. They don't mention Stu. And that could be on purpose, who knows. But Stu could still be alive. You could get electrocuted and survive. So for, for all we know, that TV film on him, he just got shocked and passed out. He could still been alive. You never know. You know? So who knows? It's absolutely possible for Stu to return. Especially if they're right or right. And this bum house, and I know they haven't had such a good track record. I mean, I, I mean, I liked Fantasy Island. And then you had the Invisible Man. So that's good, but the It's not Blumhouse's po problem. Look, Black Christmas isn't Blumhouse's problem. It's whoever wrote that damn script, okay? <laughs> but speaking of Scream and actors associated with Scream, I'm, my next uh, franchise I'm going to review after my Pick 10 horror, which I'm going to work on finishing before the weekend, is Tremors. And if you're thinking, what, what does that do with Scream? Well, Jamie Kennedy's in the fifth one and the sixth one. Now, as you see, I only have the first five, but I looked this up because I didn't want to do it without the sixth one. They have it on demand to watch for free, sci-fi, so I will watch it there. Um, but I, I, I'm a, you know, I like the first three. Well, I like, I like the first two. Third one's okay. This one's okay. Fourth one's. I'm not a fan of when franchises decide to do prequels. Especially since you've gone too far. By this point, they had done three, and they have they had evolved the Graboids. Now you go back to a prequel, and you know you can't do as much. So there's really less of a threat than you would think with a prequel. Plus, some of the characters in that movie is just kind of meh. But yeah, that's my next one. Tremors. We're doing those. So, I decided, yeah, because I love those movies, and I want to watch them again. So, and they're getting them. And then I'm also going to do a pick 10 action films. And I'll work that into somewhere as well. Uh, that'll be its own separate video when I pick. Like I did with the horror ones. but yeah. And yeah, also buy this. Because it's pretty good. But uh, yeah, that's my video. Uh, what are your thoughts on the next franchise I'm doing? What are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on The Flash? Let me know in the comments below. Like, share, and subscribe. I've been Scotty. I'll see you in the next one.